morning guys or good afternoon if you're from Auckland during the bye time because it's still early it's like 7 or 6 30. so yesterday when I dropped the scooter I just went back to the room I had my little snacks my fruits and then I called it a day now I'm gonna continue exactly where I left off yesterday I'm gonna get a scooter with that scooter, I'm gonna ride it to the port and then I will take the first boat, not the first one, the first one that I find to reach uh, Waiheke Island. So let's go find the scooter and from there, let's start our adventure. Alright, I just dropped the scooter. I'm gonna get a ticket. Hello. I want a ticket to Wahiki Island in return, please. By the way, that's not the boat we're gonna take. <laughs> that's a huge one. We're just gonna take a smaller, smaller one. So the ride is about 40 minutes. It's a bit windy today, so it might get a bit choppy. I was planning to rent a bike when I reached there, but the bike shop closes at 6 or 5. By the time I reach there, it's already 6. So uh, I'm gonna get the bus. Hop on, hop off ticket. Full tourist mode of today, it's over there. All right, now it's time to run the other side. I still have seven minutes. I am a man without a plan. I just arrived from Waiheke Island. For now, we're just gonna walk. It's about 15 minutes walk. And once we reach there, I'll show you. Yeah, sometimes not having a plan is a good plan. So we'll stick to that, not having a plan. So we're going here first on a Roa, and afterwards we'll go to Bonnet Tandy. It's 10 kilometers away, but uh, we're gonna take the bus for the second one. Yeah, let's go see. It's around five minutes to reach there, but then I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'm just looking around if there is any restaurant where I can grab something. I looked at the maps, there is nothing out here, honestly, for breakfast. So, we are here, here on the Rowan. And we're going all the way here to the Pony Tangi. But first, I need to find somewhere where I can eat. Lunch was a success. At least I came for a good reason. Look at this beautiful view. There's a beach on this side and the mountains on the other side. It's just amazing to see and to walk around this uh, amazing place and to discover it. It's really something out of the ordinary. So yeah, I'm gonna catch the bus. It's at 7.20. I have around 10 minutes and from there I'll go catch the ferry. Back to Auckland. You know the ritual. All right, back to the hotel. It's 10 p.m. I had a lot of fun. I left the hotel, I think, around 3.30. So it's been a long day out. But as you saw, Wahiki was really nice. Next time, if I have to go to Wahiki, I will probably go a bit earlier and pinpoint all the activities that I can do there on a map so that I'm better organized. But as you saw, going with the flow is really nice sometimes, not having a plan. I think the best stories and experiences that you can have are the ones that you don't plan because you're just being amazed and surprised every time rather than when you prepare and you go like uh, on Google and uh, pre-prepared things that you might see or things that you want to see, then you've already like seeing what to expect so there is no this effect of surprise i like the effect of surprise it really brings an extra touch to the discovery and the experience 
if you guys have been to my Auckland or you have any tips for me for next time, maybe I can use them to vlog on my next Auckland. So leave me a comment below. Tell me what you thought of the video. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Until next time, stay safe.